The Hulk is a 7 foot 6, 1000 plus pound superhero that is known to be a little bit ill-tempered and sometimes feels the need to, well, smash things. These smashes have been strong enough to break concrete, shatter buildings, and even damage some Asgardian gods. Puny god. So if this big green monster is able to smash gods, then what would happen if the Hulk smashed you? Okay, where to start? How about the Hulk's raw strength? In the Marvel Universe, there is something called a strength scale, which ranks each superhero based on the amount of mass they can lift directly over their head with their arms extended. There are many ranks to this system, the lowest level being the low normal human strength. That has characters like Famine, who literally doesn't eat food and can disintegrate organic matter. The highest ranking of strength in this system is considered potentially incalculable superhuman strength, or being able to lift 100 tons over their head. This has characters like the Hulk and Ultron, which coincidentally I made a video about which you can check in the link below. The reason why the Hulk's strength is considered incalculable is because his strength is determined by his level of anger. So that's why sometimes the Hulk has trouble lifting up things like military tanks, while sometimes he can easily lift up mountain ranges. So how can we calculate a potentially infinite amount of strength? Well, luckily we have a few references. The first of which is a scene in the first Avengers movie where the Hulk is able to punch a giant flying robotic leviathan and bring it to a complete stop. A conservative estimate for the mass of the leviathan is about 200 tons, or about the same mass as a blue whale. Oh, now that I think about it, that would be absolutely terrifying. I mean, imagine a blue whale that could actually fly. Anyways, the Leviathan seems to be traveling at about 60 kilometers an hour, or 17 meters per second, which is the speed limit of most main non-highway roads. With one punch, the Hulk is able to bring this creature to a complete stop in about two to three seconds. So after busting up my old friend Physics, we get a number that is, whoa. That would really suck if you got punched by the Hulk. That's because the Hulk's punch would hit you with about the same amount of force as a Boeing 747 in flight. Now, I don't know about you, but I've never been hit by a Boeing 747 before, and I don't really know anyone that has, except for my poor friend Timmy. Poor seagull. Never saw that plane coming from literally miles away. But if you got hit by a punch with that much force, your body would, for lack of a better word, explode. And it would happen so quickly that your brain wouldn't be able to process the sensory information from the punch. So I guess on the bright side, you wouldn't feel the immense pain that would come from your body being torn apart by the punch. The second reference that we're gonna use is just based on the Hulk's size himself, and not from the movies or the comic books. The theoretical energy released by a Hulk punch based on his 25 pound fist and his 100 mile per hour punch speed should only be about the same amount of energy as a car traveling at residential road speeds which is about 10,000 joules of energy. But let's face it, using the Hulk's size and real world physics is kind of boring because that doesn't pack too much of a punch. So for our third reference, we're gonna be using the comic books. In the comic books, the Hulk was able to destroy an asteroid twice the size of the Earth with a single punch. In order to do that, he would have needed to pack a punch with 700 million Yada Joules. That is a seven with 32 zeros behind it. This punch would have needed to pack as much energy in one second as the sun releases in one week. So depending on how you look at it, getting punched by the Hulk would either feel like you got hit by a jumbo jet, or feel like you got hit by a grandma driving a sedan GTA 5 style, or feel like you got hit by a giant nuclear explosion reaching tens of millions of degrees during exam week just to make the situation worse. There's also one scene in the Avengers Age of Ultron where the Hulk and the Hulkbuster punch each other. So what would happen if this occurred in real life? Well, you're gonna have to click here to find out. And remember, click here if you're awesome, and click here if you wanna listen to an extended Science of Avengers podcast on iTunes. Anyways, thank you for watching.